In this video, I'm going to show you how to make objects, text, video files, images, absolutely anything react to the beats of your music right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you want to begin by creating a brand new composition. So we'll go a new composition, make sure this is a 1920 by 1080 composition with a pixel aspect ratio of square pixels. Frame rate can be whatever you like, but I'm going to select 23.976 and we'll set the duration to around four minutes. Then we'll press OK on this and we can drop our audio file into After Effects. So drag your audio file from your finder or your documents into After Effects and then we'll drop that on to the composition. So if we play this back, you can hear the beat. The first thing that we want to do once we've dropped the audio files on to the composition is to convert the audio waveform into a series of keyframes. That sounds complicated, but it's really easy, I promise you. So we'll select the audio file, we'll right click or double click. And then we'll go into keyframe assistant and select convert audio to keyframes. Nice and easy. So if we go into audio amplitude, use the drop down arrow, go into effects. You can see that all of the audio has been separated into left channel, right channel, and a combination of both channels. So if you wanted to do an animation where something reacts to the left slider and something reacts to the right, then all you have to do is just parent them to the different channels. So. Let's just work with the both channels for now, the combined channels to make things nice and easy for ourselves. So let's begin with some text. So we're going to go ahead and press the T icon. Then we're going to type out whatever we like in the middle of the video. So I'm just going to put text and then we'll center that up roughly in the center of the composition. Now it's really important that we adjust the anchor point of this text to the middle of the word because if we don't, then the animation is going to come from the anchor point on the bottom left. And if we're using the scale, then it's gonna look really weird. So with the text layer selected, you want to press A on the keyboard to load up anchor points. And you just want to adjust this and make sure the anchor point sits perfectly in the very middle of the word. Now we can go ahead and we can frame that up to the very middle of the video. Now, from here, you want to go into the audio amplitude file, go into both channels, use this drop down arrow. And as you can see, we've got this setting called slider. So we're going to go into our text, use that drop down arrow. And in the transform tab, you can see we've got anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. And we can go ahead and use any of these for the animation, but I'm going to use scale. So you want to go ahead and hold option on your keyboard or alt if you're on Windows. Hold option on your keyboard, select the stopwatch next to scale, and that will load up this expression box. Now in here, you can go ahead and type out an expression, or what we're going to do is use the pit whip tool to connect this scale from the text to the slider on the audio amplitude. Again, it sounds complicated, but it's nice and easy. So we're just going to use this pit whip tool here, the expression pit whip. We're going to drag that and drop that onto the slider. And then we'll let go of that. And then from here, the temptation is to press enter to close this box. Do not press enter because this will break a line in the expression. As you can see, we don't want to do that. So you just want to go ahead and select anywhere in After Effects outside of this gray box. So we'll just select up here. And if we play this back, you can see we've got our text reacting to the music. And there you go, the text is now animating to the sound of the audio, it's affecting the scale, but the really awesome thing with this technique is it's not just limited to scale, position and rotation, you can also adjust the colors, you can adjust the tint, the brightness, you can adjust literally anything with this technique and have anything react to the audio. So let's delete the text. Let's drag in a video clip from our finder into After Effects. We'll drag that on the timeline. We'll go into Effects and Presets, search for Brightness and Contrast in the Effects and Presets tab. Drop that on your video. Then we'll go into the video settings by pressing the drop down arrow. 
go into effects, brightness and contrast. And again, we're going to hold option or alt on your keyboard, select brightness and that will load up this same window again. Then we're gonna grab this pick whip tool, pull that down to the both channels slider, let go, select anywhere other than this gray box. And if we play this video back, You can see that the brightness is now being affected by the audio. And there you go. If you wanted to animate any other settings or any other objects to the beat, all you have to do is just go through the process of linking the clips together and it's going to perfectly animate to the beat of the audio. So if you enjoyed watching this video or if you feel like you just learned something, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, if you're subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.